This is a man who's sleepy. And this is a woman who's sleepy. No wonder. This is going to be a travelogue. I guess you're going to be sleepy too now that, now that you know that this is going to be a travelogue. Well, if everyone's going to go to sleep, let's make this a travelogue on the perfect place to go to sleep. The perfect place is in a sleeping bag, and that's what this film is about. We're going to study sleeping bags and what to do when you're in one. Now, this is a normal sleeping bag. And this is a mini bag for the guy with good legs. A peekaboo bag. An open-toed sleeping bag for sneaking around. Sleeping bag for the guy who's been sneaking around. Okay. Is that all you're expected to know? No. Now you have to find out where to put a sleeping bag. Don't put your sack in the sand. You, you've heard about shifting sand? Well, in the middle of the night, it shifts to the middle of your back. And above all, don't forget where you put your sleeping bag. Now look what's happened here. These are a couple of campers who wandered away from the campfire in the middle of the night. And now they can't remember the way back to their knapsack. However, they're obeying the basic rule. When you're lost, close your eyes. Who knows, maybe you're not lost, maybe you're just watching a movie. Now are you ready to jump into the sack? Just, just one more thing. Don't just jump in, it's much better to work up. And a good place to work up is on the beach. Lie down and adjust your sunglasses and go to sleep. Now, if you can't go to sleep, work on naturalness. It's very important for a sleeping bagger to be able to pretend naturalness. Now, see, see how naturally his head moves? Very good performance. Don't twitch or lick your lips or click your heels. Now, one more sleeping bag model. This is the sports car type, a mobile stretcher that corners up to the refrigerator where mom is waiting. And she's waiting with a lecture on diets and a lecture on the morality of your friends and a lecture on how you're lucky she saved some corned beef even if you didn't tell her you were going to be hungry. Okay, is there anything that we've learned so far? Probably just this. Someday, if you're lucky, you'll have a sleeping bag that you can trust. But right now, what we're going to do is watch a travelogue on the perfect place to put a sleeping bag. And here we are in California, in Yosemite Valley Sleeping Bag Park. Now this is where campers carpet the valley with sleeping bags and have community zip-ins. And now a rule from the old Indian scouts. Put your sleeping bag near water so that if you're thirsty in the middle of the night and have to get a drink, you won't have far to go. That way you won't have to stumble around at night bumping into strangers who don't know this basic sleeping bag principle. But don't put your sleeping bag in moving deep water because here the water is 1,500 feet deep and your sleeping bag will sink at uh, 132 feet per second. The sheer cliff of Half Dome, where you can really drop off to sleep. Some mountain climbing sleeping baggers have actually climbed the face of Half Dome because it's there. And if all of a sudden it isn't there, well, as they say in mountain climbing school, you're a dropout. And now, on with the search. Look at all the sleeping bag locations down there. Now, if you unroll your sleeping bag near the edge, you'll find that this is the easy overnight way to get down to the bottom of the, of the Grand Canyon. It's an old-fashioned, real leather, live sleeping bag on which you can toss and turn. Or you can catch a few winks with Georgie White, who has a gigantic air mattress that she uses as a sort of floating motel. And she bounces down to Colorado, singing lullabies to her passengers and rocking them to sleep.
is probably the world's greatest moving sleep in. Now are you getting sleepy? If you are, then this travelogue is starting to take effect. And here we are over lovely Lake Powell. Is this going to be the perfect place to put a sleeping bag? Unfortunately, no. Someone has seen our camera, and they rush up to have their picture taken. Because that's the way it is with travelogues. About the time you're asleep, they wake you up. Here we are in the Grand Tetons, where Big Mother is watching. This is a, a sleeping bag place that's almost an American obsession. More people unroll their bedrolls in the Grand Teton National Park than in any other. And this is why. Even when you're awake, you think you're dreaming. All through the national parks, there is comradeship. Friendly comrades like these step out of their tents with cocoa and donuts, whenever a man searching for the perfect sleeping bag place comes nodding by with an air mattress on his head. And here's a happy sleeper because he insists on a happy ship. And now our sleeper is dreaming of sharing his sleeping bag with the wildlife. And he catches fish and puts them to sleep in plastic boxes of the proper size. By now, you're probably almost asleep. Matter of fact, maybe you're dreaming. Now, without waking up, can you tell if you're having this dream that you're flying? This is a dream that, that worries some people, but, but this is a normal dream, and don't worry about it. It just means that you don't want to face reality. But that's all right. Reality isn't so hot. But maybe we're all just dreaming that we're watching this travelogue. Maybe this is a dream for all of us. And now, have we found it? Is Glacier National Park the perfect place to plant a sleeping bag? There are sheep to count, in case you like to count sheep when you're going to sleep. But the way to go to sleep is not to worry about going to sleep by counting sheep. The way to go to sleep is to pick the right place to have the kind of dream that you've always dreamed about. And if the dream that you've always dreamed about is dreaming that you're watching a, a travelogue of national parks, why, well, you're home free right now, this, this very minute, even if you're still wide awake. So here we're watching someone who has found the perfect place for his sleeping bag, because he wants to dream of islands and he doesn't even have to close his eyes. And now you know, if you want to dream of islands, get your sleeping bag on an island. If you want to dream of national parks, put your sleeping bag in the national parks. And if you want to dream of travelogues, go to sleep right now and dream that you're watching a travelogue. And then, no matter where your sleeping bag decides to take you, go. Pleasant dreams.